Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Glackman. You've been scheduled for a Bravo procedure to check for acid reflux. This video will show you how to correctly use your recorder and paper diary at home to get the best test possible. During this procedure, a capsule is pinned to the lying of your food pipe or esophagus. The Bravo capsule detects acid coming up from the stomach into the esophagus and transmits this information to a recorder that you'll go home with. You might feel a tug when food passes the capsule. This is normal. The capsule will fall off in five to 10 days. It leaves your body in a bowel movement and you flush it away. This is the Bravo recorder. And this is the paper diary that you'll also use to record certain events. In this video, I'll show you how to record eating, lying down, and symptoms. I'll also show you how to use the diary and how to return the Bravo recorder. First, let's learn how to record eating, lying down, and symptoms. Use the Bravo recorder to mark when you start a meal and end a meal. If the display is dark, wake up the recorder by pressing any button. When you start a meal, press the fork and knife button. A green light flashes. When you stop a meal, press the fork and knife button again. The green light goes off. You will also use the Bravo recorder to mark when you lie down at a 45 degree angle or less and when you get up. If the display is dark, wake up the recorder by pressing any button. When you start lying down, press the bed button. A green light flashes. When you get up, press the bed button again. The green light goes off. You will also use the Bravo recorder to mark when you have a symptom. The triangle, circle and square buttons are assigned to your symptoms. The nurse will assist you in assigning your symptoms to these buttons. If the display is dark, wake up the recorder by pressing any button. Symptoms only require a single push to record them. Press the button once at the exact time you experience the symptom. Now let's make sure you know the do's and don'ts for eating and drinking during your Bravo procedure. Do eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. And be sure to eat foods that normally cause you to have symptoms. Do not snack, sip liquids all day, chew gum or suck on hard candies during your study. If you eat or drink anything other than water between meals, record it like a meal. Snacks include food or drink that isn't water. Even if it's a small amount, count it as a meal. Now let's discuss how to use your diary. The diary is used to document only three things. When you take anti-acid medications, events you forgot to capture on the Bravo recorder, and any additional symptom that wasn't assigned a button. The diary is not intended to be a food journal, so do not write down what you ate or drank. If your doctor has instructed you to continue taking anti-acid medication during your Bravo procedure, you'll use the diary to document the date and time you took the medication. Use the time that appears in the upper left corner of the recorder. It is important you do not use any other clock. If you forget to press the button for a meal, lying down or symptoms, you should write down the information in your diary. Be sure to include the date and times. If you are experiencing any additional esophageal symptoms such as coughing, chest pain or burping that haven't been assigned a button, use your diary to write down the symptom along with the date and time shown on the recorder. Now that you understand how to use your Bravo recorder and diary, here are a few more things you need to know. Keep the recorder within three feet of you so that it picks up information from the Bravo capsule. If the recorder is too far away, then it will beep and a red light will flash. If this happens, hold the recorder near you and it will reconnect. You'll also want to wear the recorder while you sleep or keep it within three feet of you. The recorder does need to stay dry, so please remove it before taking a shower. And finally, do not have an MRI for 30 days after the placement of the Bravo capsule in your esophagus. When the Bravo study is done, 
the recorder turns off automatically. When your test is complete, please return your Bravo recorder and diary to the location where your procedure was performed.